What's going on guys? Welcome back. And I forgot what part is this, but if you're watching this, uh, you can see up on the video and I'll have the part ready, so we're gonna start. Go back to this lady. I we got that coin from last last episode. And I figured out if you put that there. Oh, what a beautiful melody. I reminds me of my youth when I was brilliant and full of purpose. Oh. I knew the, my path then. Oh my god. Bless you. For you have given me the sign I was looking for. Uh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in the hole. This is old rusty pipe that are blocking the water stream. The hole is very sharp and rusty edges. If I try to put my hand in there, it could cut myself. Is this why we need the log? The wood is too soft and to even bend. The sharp edges of the pipe. Uh, what about the stone? I bunted the sharp edges. I need, need no fear. There's nothing now in the okay. Okay. Uh we could go back and talk to that lady at the front office. about the patients? Of course, Mr. David. What tend you above the physical and spiritual needs of in, of those in our care? Did you say that Mr. Musua already lived here when this menu still board, was his boarding school? Indeed, he still was a priest and professor before he became monk, sir, and started to lead this place. Did I talk to Mr. Mansour? I'm afraid that's impossible. Mr. Mansour has left us strict instructions that he not be disturbed. Not even by any of these sisters. Mr. Baldwin? Monster instructed me to keep on the caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains a little. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I need to finish talking to you. Mother Elizabeth, Mr. Baldwin told me that lately a lot of patients are done. What is happening? Sadly, the Lord is taking them, taking many of these unfortunate souls. Thank you, Mother. I'll leave you with your duties. Okay, so since we have the net thing, I have figured out what to do. Okay, after seeing the a walkthrough of that part. So we get the net, put it here. The net should catch something, everything coming down the pipe. Okay. 
some odd joke has had. If some, uh, okay. Now we go to the restroom. And turn on the faucet. And, and uh, yeah. Now we should turn it on. Okay, now we go back to the room. See if we catch it. Go to the window. There's an the net has caught the shiny object. Teardrop. What can a teardrop do? Okay, so I have an idea. Back at the place where the patients were, I went to up to that patient. She said that she needed help, but then that nun said that to go pray to the statue, which was missing a piece. So I'm guessing if the teardrop, if, if we put the teardrop there, it would work. Oh, I didn't see that person there. But... He is quiet. Hell, young boy. He is asleep. Oh, really? Okay, so if we place the teardrop there. Okay, wait. A gloomy statue. Yeah, it means that it's missing. I have placed the glass tear in the hollow of the virgin's cheek. It seems it fits perfectly. If we put the piece of mirror here, oh, the mother's crying. Oh, my lord, what does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? There's a little time I need to tell them about my pain. I describe unreliable and endless pain, yet they do not listen. They pass me without even looking at me. They say that they're praying for me, but does not mean to cure my element. But sir, I, I know, but I beseech you, you will be saving me from horrible torture. I'll be eternally in indebted to you. I understand your request. It's terribly hard for me. I guess I could find some courage to help you. I understand, Magnitude. I'm asking you, God bless you, sir. I don't know what, know how I can show you my gratitude. What I need to do is, without the nuns noticing, to try to. To get the amount of Murphy enough so I can embrace the best dreams and I was okay. So we're gonna gosh. Gosh, I really don't wanna do that this guy. What he's saying is to kill him. So he wants us to kill him. Which
So he could have a heart attack. Gosh, I feel bad for this dude. He doesn't want to feel any pain, the torture, all that bad stuff. So he just wants to G. Whoa. There's a note on a bed. Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies. You get the point. Noise is coming from inside the coffin. What the heck? A locked, badly finished wooden coffin. It seems that wherever it went. I can't open the coffin with my own hands. The lid is nailed. Habit and a walking stick. There's no doubt it belonged to the nun. I spoke by the window, but where'd she go? Yes. I can't. She's randomly disappeared. So we still hear that knocking in the wood. Could it be that guy that told us to kill him? We need to find that grave dude person. about Monsignor. I can't rightly say after all these years I've never seen the man. Who knows, maybe he doesn't exist. But Mother Elizabeth told me that Monsignor specially requested her to hire you by letter. I'm flattered my reputation precedes me by little. I still can't tell you anything about more the man. Excuse me interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your word. Have a nice evening. I put you sleep. And I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see if we can touch his things. Looks like it his toolbox. I wonder if there's something useful. Please don't touch my things. Tell me about this place. Well, the construction of the building was ordered by an epilasso bishop of... Uh, okay. So thank you. I'll take you to work. 
have a nice evening. Of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my! What? I can't freaking freaking blurry. Mother Elizabeth, I was trying to make him come to his senses. What? Since she, she's a, she's a lady that told us not to go in the room. Now she's out here. We have to go through here. The door is locked. Crap. Does she have a key behind here? November 13, 1891. Cause of death. Calcolexia. Scratch marks have been found in his stomach. Okay. Whoops. I should have done that. Elmer Monar. Eight, November 17, 1891. Cause of death. Pulseria. A clear expression of terror on the patient's paralyzed face was found at the time of death. Okay. Evelyn Bernie. November 20th, 1891. Call the death, Marzamo. We found the patient dead and emancipated and paleness pale in the body. Theodore Heading. November 23rd, 1891. Call the death, trifold fever. The patient suffered a severe hallucination minute before death screamed and shook until optimized the attack effect uh, then uh, ash down November 27th 1991 cause of death tuberculosis uh, during the autopsy we found some strange black marks on her fingers called Harris um, Claude Harris December 10th 1991 cause of death unknown he died while Sleep. He was sleeping. Nora Dushten, December 13th, 1891. Cause of death, first patient, arrest. Notes blank. Okay. Uh, Ellen Bonner, you know the date. Cause of death, morphine. The patient did not seem to have expressive symptoms or suicidal tendencies. So that means someone killed him. Oliver Foster, December 18th, cause of death, poisoning. The patient was admitted with serious symptoms of poisoning. A large pride. We'll find out next episode, see what happens. Yep, I'll leave you guys on a cliffhanger.
Thanks for watching.